Now what we're doing here is not just using reverb to create space, but we're also creating tonal color. So the idea is by using these smaller reverbs and multiple different sized reverbs together, you can actually change the tonal color of the parts to work together better in a way you would normally use an equalizer to do. This gives us a lot more control over perceived depth of musical parts in a mix. Now think about it like this, any environment where natural acoustics exist will sound different based on the materials in that environment, such as a wooden floor is gonna sound dramatically different than a cement floor, or a room that has a lot of glass windows will sound dramatically different than a room with no windows. So the materials of any given environment affect the tonal color of that environment. Reverb is essentially just made up of delays, millions of delays reflecting off the surfaces. So the surfaces themselves create tonal color. Keeping that in mind when working with reverbs, think about the tonal color of the part and how you want to change it. This enables you to use a reverb in a way you might use an equalizer, but having a different kind of control to create a different aesthetic altogether. Let's get more into that. Now we're moving on to the next drum part. We want to continue with the concept of working with very small reverbs on drums in order to create more space between parts. We're going to use a room reverb, which is just to add natural acoustics or natural sounding acoustics as opposed to a concert hall style reverb or a larger reverb. The part we're going to put it on, let's have a listen first before we place, place the effect on. Now we're placing it on more of a deeper sounding hand drum. And generally, the deeper the drums, you want to be more careful with the reverbs just because they can get a little bit mushier. You don't, we don't want that. But we are working with a small, sm very, very small sized reverb. Let's have a look what we're working with here. We've got the size turned down fairly low. And we're also using an extremely short decay time like we did on the other drum and the, the quickest pre-delay. Now I'm going to start playing the track back without the effect, and I'm going to turn it on. You're going to see how much difference that makes. Now let's turn off both those reverbs we added. As you can see already, they're creating quite a lot more depth. Now I'm going to start this without the reverbs and then turn them both on. So as you can see, in terms of tonal color, because of the different tonalities of both of those reverbs, they tend to stand out much more. So what we're hearing now is those individual drum parts much more clearly, but also because of the space of each one, they're standing out and creating more depth. Now, using small reverbs is not limited to percussion or drums by any stretch of the imagination. Using small reverbs are some great producers' secret tools in a way for creating depth in a mix. And one of the things I see online in forums and also hear students ask quite a bit is, how do I make my parts sound separated? Well, this is one way of doing it. And there are even some producers who actually use different space rooms in order to create the parts to do the same thing. 
So once again, we're creating a unique space on each part and tonal color. Let's move on. 